The PO unboxing. Yeah. I want to say we did it in the living room again one other time, and it was fine. On that note, hi everybody. Yes. It is. Uh, uh, we. I just have done a major cleaning up of my filming space. By that, he just basically moved everything into different corners. Like I said, major cleanup. By that, he just threw everything in, under a rug. Exactly. So, I really don't want to have to have a bunch of garbage and loose comics just sitting around for a while. Is that... You're really going to call that... Clean? I said Wait. mostly. I didn't say I was finished. What is this? Your finger. That's it! I'm pouring water on you! Okay, he's gonna get all over the couch then, too, and probably on your nice leather skirt. Look, look, sacrifices must be made! Mm. But no, I just dusted yesterday, and I hate dust because I'm, um, like, it, allergies, and it was just so much dust somewhere that I was just, like, holding a blanket of dust. I was like, how the f did it get like this, Lewis? You should probably explain the wrist brace, otherwise people will be asking if you broke your hand. Oh, no. Um, I'm just having some wrist problems because I'm doing commissions right now. Commissions are closed because all the slots got filled. But I'm drawing so much. And I drew so much without taking a break. And now I need to wear this cast. And it's not broken. It's just something I have to do now and then when I forget to actually do what I need to do properly, which is get up and stretch my wrists, my hands, and my body. And when you forget to do that, you end up having to have a wrist cast and you can't you know, play video games or draw as much. Welcome to Important Safety Tips at, during the PO unboxing. Yes, uh, do not be like Vega and forget to do body maintenance in ter like to make sure you don't mess up your drawing hand because you'll end up like me. And I'm going to start us off, by the way, da-da-da-da-da-da-da, yeah. yeah. No. We're here, we're starting <laughs> things off with, I'm going to start things off with a letter. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff at the PO box from the last couple months. I think the last one we did was in December. I like weird shaped boxes. <laughs> Probably posters, honestly. You're going to get me demonetized. Good. Got one from Chris Lark here. Let's uh, let her open here. Opening this is going to... Opening things going to be weird with my hand and all. Dear Lewis Lovehog, my name is Chris Lark, and I am a film and TV producer. See business card. I'm here to ask you to put in being... Oh, I actually got a... Uh, uh, an email about this. This is a this is a, not of a fan thing. This is actually like a business thing. Oh yeah, you shouldn't read that on camera. Yep. Yeah, never mind. That's what? so so false start there. But is this the start of Lewis going Hollywood? Uh, I doubt it. Come on, Lewis, go Hollywood. Go write horror movies, and I want to live in L.A. and shit. No, you don't. You don't want to live in L.A. I actually like uh, California. The time I went, and I think I would. I don't know if I could live there because. L.A. drivers, I'm sorry, you guys scare me, and I thought I was going to die on your highways. I literally thought I was going to die. I was having flashbacks to every car accident I had, and just being in the cars in L.A., but mm, bacon wrapped hot dogs and all sorts of cool stuff, and hey, sports. Yeah, we got a thing from Amber Strand, which is a St. Louis Cardinals like postcard here. Hi, Lewis, a fan of yours, Justin Kennan, bought these earrings for me on Facebook Marketplace. He says you're a huge Soundwave fan. My husband watches your YouTube videos also. Since you're a big Soundwave fan, I'm sticking a little extra for you. Amber Strand. Oh, so, so like Soundwave necklace, uh, Soundwave uh, uh, earrings, it sounds like. But, hey, you want me to pierce your ears? No. Want but, me to but pierce if, your ears? No, I really you don't. Not with the, not with that either. Yeah, this is Jeremy. I better go put it in bleach first. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you should pierce. You should get at least one piercing in life. It makes things more interesting. I have. God gave me a sufficient number of holes in my body. I do not require. And more. God gave you the choice to have more. Yeah, and I made the choice to not have more. In the name of the re the religions. In the, name of my in the name of my religion. <laughs> in the name of my non-religion, put more holes in your body. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. However, I will uh, show off these earrings to the camera. You ever want to wear these for any reason? Very nice little uh, uh, sound wave earrings. They're very cool. I'm not into Transformers, but I'll wear them for you. I mean, I've got I've got the retrospective coming up here with the Marvel Transformers. If you want to make an appearance, you could wear these. Or you could just let me pierce your ears. Or... 
You can shut up. Just get me a safety pin and a lot of paper towels. How about no? <laughs> I do not require more. Pit. Okay, comment if you want to see Lewis get a piercing. Comment. Uh, well, you get to you get to learn firsthand, my fans, the, the this wonderful thing called disappointment. <laughs> an extra. Okay, she sent a uh, an extra. Oh, it's a key ring, I think. Well, that one you can use. Yeah, I can definitely. Yeah, I can definitely pierce this in my ear. Mm, no. no, no, I can use it. It's a uh, yeah. Let me, uh, let me show. You. It's basically the same thing, except the uh, except it's got a keychain ring on it as opposed to the <laughs> earring. That's very nice. Amber Stram, thank you so much. All right, this is just from... Oh, and thank you for uh, to uh, Justin Kennan, who bought these for me. This is just... It just doesn't say a name. It just says a warehouse, so... Ant Atlanta Warehouse, hi. It's a wall scroll, which... Wall scrolls... I Every time I hold one, I get... It's upside down. Big, mid-2000s... Hold it's up. A, Let me... It's a big wall scroll, too. Just in case, because... For a minute, it looks like there was no bot. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can show this on camera. Uh, I don't see any, like... Uh, okay, that's a little bit trickier. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. It's a bit of a... Th no, it is a, it is a thong, but it's still it's still a little iffy. Yeah, it's uh, Neptuna. Are y'all familiar with that? Are you familiar with that, Louis? Nope, not at all. It's this anime RPG series game where all the girls are based off of consoles, I think. <laughs> And I think the main character is Neptuna based on Neptune or something. Sega Neptune? Which was a I don't know. Which is a canceled product. I don't know. I think there's a PlayStation girl and I That looks like the Xbox girl because they're in the X's Xbox on her girl. on her head things. I never watched Neptuna or played any of the games, but I know of it because you know, you see that one purple haired like kid that's uh like the poster child for the franchise. I mean this is a pre some pretty cool art and a pretty cool poster. Just can't show it on YouTube because uh, too much booty. Eh, it's debatable, but we probably should play it safe. Yeah, I prefer to play it safe. Anyway, yeah, you want to throw away any of the uh, things from that into here? Because yep. I got the garbage bag already. Actually, I want to keep the bag because it has some of the holders. Ah, uh, okay. What about the box? Box, yeah, you can have that. Uh, I gotta unpack this because, of course, they wrap they wrap this comic for Lone Star Comics. Mm -hmm. Uh, they wrapped it up so that you can't show the cut that like the comics are facing in. All right, I'm opening something from Jeremy Hudgens. And Jeremy Hudgens has sent like some DVD. sort of DVD or a game. Ah, it's a game. Ah, and, ah, there we go. Oh, it's Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions for PC, actually. So it's like a physical copy of it. Nice. Maybe do that on stream. Yeah, yeah, I should. Thank I heard so mixed much. reviews of that game. Basically, like, it was just okay at best. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm opening something from Wichita. It helped, it helped uh, build Spider-Man Noir's uh, repertoire a bit more, even though the original comic, from what I hear, is not really good. Oh. Anyway, this Shadow is... Man was, was what we got here. And you got Birthday. Oh. That was... <laughs> okay, this is... Yeah, this is uh, Ring Volume 4 Birthday, which says it's still shipping. I did not, I, I did not realize that it arrived. <laughs> well... Th thank you, Amazon Shipping, for not telling me. Yeah, it's, I, I'm collecting all... People who have been following my Twitter know that I'm on a big ring and grudge kick right now. So, yeah, I'm collecting... I collected all the uh, uh, ring mangas, which for some reason, ring volume zero... Actually, it's either volume four or volume zero. One or the other. No, this is definitely volume four because I have volume zero already. This is... This this cover, like, has a naked lady on it. You don't see anything, but better safe than sorry. Lewis. Before we go on, I have to correct you on something. Mm -hmm. Manga is plural for manga. There's no didn't doesn't need to be an S. Did I say? Did on, I say? You said mangas. I hate it when people say that. Manga is plural for manga. Anime is plural for anime. So anyway, it's I'm not, collecting all the ring mangoes. It's not animes. It's not mangas, it's manga, anime, plural, and singular. My weeb wife. Stop it! Stop it! But yeah, it just bothers me. Okay. <laughs> but no, no, I, I get why people do it, because in English, we add S to things. 2021 oh, Sailor Moon calendar? This was definitely for you more than me. Yeah. Well, but, well I say that. I say that. I like Sailor Moon. It's just I see no reason to have a physical calendar. I do because I write on them. I know. I, I don't. I, I'm... I actually prefer physical calendars to 
uh, digital ones because all I have to do is write on it and I can see it every day and I remember things more clearly when I write and see them every day. And I did have, I like, I have like a silver moon calendar for every year for the past four years. I barely use 2020s because the whole year kind of, uh. Plus like a good chunk of that we were just preparing to move. Also, I did fill out some of it and it was just me crossing out events that entire year. Yeah. Yeah. You got a letter? Yep, I got a letter. You want to read it or should I? I'll read it. It's short. All right. Hello, Linkara. This entire year has been one hell of a nightmare so far. Yep. Your reviews, or lack thereof, depending when you read this, and live streams are one of some of the few sources of humor in an age where there seems to be so little left. Thank you. I was happy to hear that Arkham Asylum won the pull for the next live stream game. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you aren't, you aren't reading this after the game's been completed. So I so thought... <laughs> Sorry. So I thought I'd provide another possible game for future streaming. Includes, closed is a code for the season pass... For the stream version of 2015's King's Quest game. Ooh, I should try that. I oh. I remember playing a King's Quest game when I was very, very young. Both Pa and Pushing Up Roses have done their own like retrospectives and video look at a bunch of King's Quest games. I remember the one that I played uh, had a bunch of fairy tale stuff that you had to uh, uh, solve. I can't remember which one that was. It was not the Cedric one, I know that. Hmm. Poisonous Snake! You seem to be familiar with the series through Pa's retrospective of it, so why not try it yourself? Hmm. Sincerely, Sir Straw Hat. I have since not did learned not to use my real name on the internet after what happened last time. Yeah, it's Sir Straw Hat. He's a frequenter on the uh, on the on the streams, hmm. and he got uh, Grim Tales of Terror here. P.S. I hope I don't come off as overbearing in the chat all the time, and I've ever said anything appropriate or offensive to you or anyone. And they like to take this moment to formally apologize. Also, here's the code underneath. Yep, so just uh, set that down, and yeah, maybe we'll try that out sometime. Cool. Because I feel like, yeah, an adventure game might be a little more, little more easy to do on the stream. It's it's always a push and shove with the, uh, uh, push and shove, push and pull with the streams, because we're not entirely, because sometimes some games just work better for streaming and some don't. We just started Mass Effect on the stream to date this one. Hmm. It's not Mass Effect. Uh, Fallout. Fallout. Fallout, New Vegas. All right, I'm opening something from James Keith. I've got... All the way from Canada! I got a little more Lone Star comics. I wonder if it's going to be more Shadow Man or more Grim Tales of Terror. Can't get enough of Grim Tales of Terror. Uh, uh, so much Grim Tales of Terror. How does it, How do I still not have every comic that they produce? Uh, got a letter with that one. You want me to read that? Sure. All right. I'll show off the comics inside. Oh, good. I see the top one. Because, uh, yeah, this is, we needed this. We needed, I needed a physical copy of this. I didn't want physical copies. I said in the review I didn't want physical copies. These are going straight in the trash. This is, the, this is, sweetie, I don't remember if you want, remember that review. Yes, Heroes in Crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, anyway. I remember when you were writing it, you were just ranting to me about it, and I was just like, save it for the episode. My name is James Keith. I am from Canada, specifically Burlington, Ontario, and I have been a longtime subscriber to your channel. I think I first discovered your channel when I found your videos on Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns 2 and Aspar. We need more Miller time, by the way. Coming up. Those will always be my favorite video of yours because of how much they made me laugh, and I still go back to them from time to time because I think... They are some of the best videos you have made. However, you will see that, that the content package is from a story that you and so many others hate that TZ released not too long ago called Heroes in Crisis. I watched your video on it and completely agree with everything you said. As someone who suffers from depression and anxiety, this book does a very poor job of trying to look at how mental health affects superheroes. Mm. I know you said that you never wanted to own a physical copy of it in your home, which I understand. I also remember you saying that it has been a while since you last burned physical comics. Well, now is your chance! I sent you the entire run of Heroes in Crisis and some of the tie-in issues that are <laughs> god-awful and not long for this world. I want you to burn them so that you can cleanse the world and our homes from this trash and put it where it belongs in the fires of hell. I hope you and your friends and family have a good 2021 <laughs> And can forget how bad 2020 was for everyone. Sincerely, James Key. You know what? I'm okay. I I I, I am okay with that. We will. I, I will see about that. About maybe burning this and maybe. We, we do have a. Now we have our own backyard now, and we have a little like a little area that can be a fire pit. You wanna quit this and go burn some shit? Maybe. Let's go. <laughs> no, no. no, no, no. We got, we got, we got stuff to unbox. This, this, they, these aren't going anywhere. Yet. Yeah. Well, they're going to look, the ash bin of history. Look, for as a show called A Top and Fourth Wall where bad comics burn, when was the last time you burned a comic, Lewis? Uh, I want to say Holy Terror was actually the last one I physically burned. And that burned. was last decade! Last 
decade! Yeah, but you know what? Metaphorical burnings are still burning. No, we need burning! Hashtag burn Linkara. Wait, no, that, that sounds horrible. It's also one of the perils of Hashtag, having... Hashtag uh, Linkara burn... Hashtag burn when he pees. There. <laughs> Grim Fairy Tales 2020 <laughs> Holiday Pinup Special. <laughs> I'm opening something from Andrew Potts. <laughs> the uh, purchaser is not listed. It's just, it's, the thing is, uh, uh, this is one of the perils of having a weekly show, hey. is that it's hard for me to uh, uh, get, uh, to do, do more, like, like outside the box stuff like burning, because it requires a lot more setup, a lot more safety checks to make sure I don't accidentally set our house on fire. Look, there's snow outside. We just toss snow on. I know. Well, it's actually a lot safer to do it do it out here during these days. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's why I don't like physically burn more stuff on the we regular. We have two fire distinct extinguishers. Yeah, and how many times have my episodes been late? I got yeah. something from bestskew.com. Look, it's if you just go on Twitter and say. Hey, the episode's gonna be a little bit late. We have to burn some things. Not only everyone will be excited, but they're gonna be like, "I totally understand." This is for comment if you agree. There's a there's an actual city in California called City of Industry. Really? Like, I don't know how that works. How does that happen? Industry there. Uh, presumably, it's gonna turn out it's actually like it's actually like zoned for residential. <laughs> yeah, um, houses for like fifteen. Like million dollars. Yeah, like Silicon Valley stuff. Fifteen million dollars for one bedroom apartment. What do we got? What do we got? We got another PC game. Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Yeah, they, yep. they they did not package this very well. Yeah, the box got all squished. But yeah, this is uh what I was talking about. Limited edition trilogy pack though. Yeah, so they so so thank you for thank the you. packaging job on that. Yeah. Now, obviously, obviously not the person who purchased this for us. Thank you very much, by the way. Yeah, whoever sent it just did not treat this right. Yeah. Yeah, it's a well, PC game, too. City of Industry, not City of Packing. Yep, uh, let's see. Yeah. Best skew, but not best packing. Packing. Yeah, it basically has a bunch of Neptuna games, and I just never got into the franchise before. I just know it's pretty popular. Look at these girls. They're cute. They're moe. Yeah, here. Cool. Pull. It's it's it caught on the thing there. Pull. Anyway, the Jungle Book, part of the Grim Fairy Tale stuff. Good Zenoscope. 2016 holiday special. Okay, <laughs> just the Jungle Book. Not 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 like more of the Grim Fairy Tale stuff. Just the Jungle Book pinups with, with presumably which I presume this is like a female Mowgli. Well, it's like it's, it's, it's so it's like so it's either animals being uh, pinups or it's just Mowgli in various. Weird positions, which is odd considering I always think of Mowgli as like a little boy. Mowgli is a little boy. So, but in this one, it's a hot, presumably adult female. Well, it's Zenscope. Yeah. They know what they're about. Pretty much. Wayne Gardner is sending off a thing here. So I will open it. Got a name on that one, or is it just a. Uh, it uh, is by Miley. Thank you, Miley, for the presumably a poster. Yep. Might be another wall scroll. It's just going to take a moment. You do that while I open this up. Looks like we might be getting a letter and various things in this one. Various letters, oh, it looks that like. that is a lot of words. That is a lot of... That is a lot of words. Where is it from? Uh, it Where is... Where is it from? Like I said, it is from Wayne Gardner. Hmm. Oh, handwritten. Yeah. Yeah. For, not, fortunately, not double-sided, but wow. Yeah, uh, looking at some of this stuff here, it's uh, kind of personal stuff. I'm not gonna, not gonna read. All, obviously, not gonna read all this yeah, if, uh, if on the air. If it's personal, just be like, "Sup?" and thanks. Yep. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. And yeah, hope you're having a good day. Yeah. How, how are you doing with that? Yeah. Boom! Got it out. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, is this what I think it is? No, well, it, I think it's a poster. While you're all, or unwrapping that, K. Alvarez. Do, 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 do. I'm looking at a poster while you do that thing. What kind of thing are you opening over there? I got a thing, like I said, from K. Alvarez. The comic inside of it. The oh, comic oh. Inside of it. it's Sailor Moon poster. Yo, for the uh, Sailor Stars. Hell yeah. My 
Dearling Cara, I like your show and the other projects, really enjoyed A Voice from the Dark, and I learned that you accept donations, and well, I have these comics. There are Smallville comics, and I don't know if you watch the show, but I figured that if you review, use them, you and your family might get a kick out of them. Hope everything goes well for you. Sincerely, K. Alvarez. Yep, uh, I did not regularly watch Smallville, uh, because it was bad. <laughs> I mean, it introduced me to a few good songs, I'll give you that, but that's because it was a teen drama on uh, uh, WB, maybe CW. I can't even remember which one it was. It, it both, probably. Yeah, when eventually UPN and WB merged and became the CW. I maybe I'm remembering the history wrong. God, it was just so long ago. We're so old. Oh, I think I know what this is. And everything just feels like it's a, it's a million years ago. Who is that from? Magic Steve. Oh, it's from Magic Steve, yeah. Yeah, I remember long ago when I first met Match Steve was at MAGFest, and we were on some sort of team together, and I said, let's call ourselves the Magic Steves, because, well, on his pages, this said Magic Steve. Yeah, Magic Steve is a great guy. How uh, could you not make friends with someone named Magic Steve? <laughs> uh, if you, if any of you were at, uh, Con, not Con Bravo, was it Con Bravo? Yes, Con Bravo, uh, he would be a frequent, he was a frequenter there, uh, would also make balloon yeah. animals, he made like a balloon animal Dalek once. Like, full scale. We got Asterix and the Chieftain's Daughter. I think a fan said they were sending this to me. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of Asterix upstairs. Yep. Let's see. Steve, how are you? Let's see how Steve's doing. I know... He always makes really great holiday cards. Mm. Yeah, this is probably... Yeah, he's probably sent this beforehand. Oh, yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Starring Magic Steve as Stevie Boy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Holy shnikes, it's Christmas. <laughs> Something fell out. It's a Baby Yoda thingy. Oh, cute. Yeah, you take this apart, and it's a stand-up. Nice. Too bad we got this after Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's February. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, it's, it's just the perils of doing this. Here, why don't you work on building that while I see what else is in here, because he 3D prints stuff. Oh, yeah. What the... Beautiful! Okay, we got a... Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! I gotta I gotta show my friends right now, they're gonna be so jealous. <laughs> we so you guys know of Among Us, of course. It's like the biggest game on the internet. Uh Among Us Bean. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Steve, thank oh, you so much. That's, 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 that's like permanent set decoration right there, is what that is. Holy shit! There's even, there's even a little thing on top that you can, like, put put decoration. I think that's what that hat is for. Oh, what what the heck? We've even... Oh, my God! It has a hat! Are you selling these? Because you should. Yeah, Steve, you should sell these. This is... I wish cons were still a thing, because I'd be like, let's just split a table, and you just, like, make these, and I just do my artwork and whatever. Hmm. This is... Oh, my God. My friends are going to be so jealous. Ah! Sorry for the yelling people on headphones. I'm just very excited over this little guy. That's beautiful. Can we just like put him there for the rest of the thing? Yeah, if you, if you can sit there, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and this, like this I knew was coming. Because he asked me if I wanted something. I was like, I don't know, something like a star? Because I love stars. It, stars are my favorite shape since I was a teenager. I love stars. And I, of course, always wanted to be a star. Stars was always your favorite uh, uh, paid premium network. No, it was not. That is cool. I wish we didn't already put our Christmas stuff in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. It's a cute thing, though. But Th yes, stars. Steve, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, of course, like every year he does this really good Christmas card. And last year's I thought was great, but I like this one's too. Like There's a, another tiny star. Oh, it's another tiny star. <laughs> I'm a star. You don't shine. have to be a star, baby. Shine bright, shine far. To be so in so my be show. A star. Now this now this video's right. demonetized. You did it. Yep, but you know what I like to say. <laughs> All right, so Kate McAdoodle, Donegal. Uh, from Rat House Comics. Nice. Oh, oh dear. From 
Get the dongle. Dougal. Oh my god, you, 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 you. You have a little tab here so you can, so can auto quickly, and they taped over it. Sigh. Packing, am I right? Mm. Oh, Death Life. Oh, I've never, you know, I'm, you know, I should review that. I remember uh, uh, Death, a High Cost of Living is what that is. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Death Talks About Life. Oh, that, that's different than what I thought it was. There's a Death, I know that uh, uh, Death, a High Cost of Living is supposed to be good, but there is another Death miniseries from Vertigo Sandman and stuff like that that was supposed to be bad. If Death was real, I would like her to come to me when I die. Hmm. That is my ideal, I guess, way to go. Oh yeah, but much like much like Terry Pratchett and his death, you know, people really people really enjoyed uh, Neil Gaiman's interpretation of death. Okay, so and how it gave him comfort. All right, that death and uh, Gaiman's death; those are the two that can come for me when I die. Either that or that one death from the dog comic. The sad dog comic. Mm. The one that went viral. Yeah. Was I a good boy? No, you were a great boy. You were the best. Anyway, I'm opening something from my friend George. George from the land of obscusion. 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 I suck at saying that word. Land of obscusion. Obscusion. <laughs> but yes, really great blog. Go check it out. And, yeah. Ah. There a letter there? Yep. Good day, Lewis. And what up, Vega? Whenever you get to opening this, may 2021 already be better year for, than the last for you two. Mm. During the New Year's Among Us stream, Lewis had said that he only ever read issue one of Resurrection Man's New 52 run, which started strong but quickly became victim to New 52 tendencies. Yeah. Therefore, let me fix things by donating the complete run of both the 90s series and the New 52 run. Oh, nice. Don't worry, I still have the omnibus for the 10 series that has the best part. Regardless, George, from the land of obscusion. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Resurrection Man is, uh, is, a, is a cool idea. Basically, any, every time this guy dies, and he dies very easily, uh, he resurrects but with a new superpower. Hmm. P.S. Well, I shamelessly aped Lewis's retrospective style for my own article about both runs last year. I know Lewis could still cover it better. If nothing else, the 90s series can make up for some good long box. Indeed. Uh, it's also, yeah, it's, it's uh, quasi-horror from what I recall. Speaking of, uh, I got uh, some cool stuff here. Could you show that off real quick? Fiends? Hmm. Uh, love your show on YouTube. Thought I'd send you a slimy sample of my retro monster rag, Fiends. I usually found fund them through Kickstarters, working on issue number six, and a collected edition. Oh, cool. Keep up the wretched work, the rat. The little uh, artwork there. very uh, It's very retro style, very... Uh, uh, 60s and 70s era uh, oh, uh, horror stuff. Uh, we should uh, put that in the frame. Yeah, that's great. And they also included a poster. Oh yeah, and this, yeah, this is great uh, uh, long wax material. I might, I'm still. Here's the thing. I'm still trying to get decorations for the uh, uh, for the what am I call it? The late night double feature set. Something like this might work great for that. Hmm. That's what I was thinking. Hmm. Now I got a huge package to un unlock. So. One of my really good friends back in Chicago, <laughs> Molly, who was also in our wedding and literally saved my life from homelessness when I was living in Chicago, sent like three <laughs> huge packages. She tweeted me, it was like, hey, I'm sending you a package. And I'm like, that's cool. And it turned out to be three huge ones. And I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, one of these is really heavy. The other ones are lighter. But yeah, we've got the, the, you're opening up the first big one there. I got a few more over here. I'm gonna open up this box right here, though. In the meantime, yeah, you you really do spoil spoil me too much. There's you an know? address on this, but not a name. I already owe you my life, and holy crap, look at this! Ah! Ah! Adorable. Ah! I got too excited, my my throat hurts. You got ah. water. Got water. I don't know where it is. Right there. I can't see it. Yeah. I lost it. <clears throat> I got so excited. I, uh. Yeah, those are cute. That, that, that's exciting material right there. Yeah, look at them. Mm. Remember, like, a few years ago when everyone was dressing like deers at cons? It, like, it's like from that era. You put it on. Yeah, put that on here. Oh, my God. You, let me, yeah. I got this. I got this. There. There, beautiful. Honey, you are adorable. You are mother effing kawaii. Kawaii Desune, what do we got there? I don't know, but it's heavy. Is this heavily wrapped up? Uh, I got a letter for you as well as me. They're both relatively short. From Hel who? 
Ah, from Robert W. Wilson the Third. Mm. Uh, can we take care of this box first? Because there's a lot in here. Yeah, sure. I'll set these down. And we'll get right to them. Here, you find out what that is. And holy! Oh my God! Look at this glitter purse. Okay, if anyone needs to know what my favorite color is, it's sparkly and purple, but sparkly. <gasps> Unicorn! out oh that looks so cool that would look so cool in my office it's like it's like it, it it's feels like i won an award i was gonna say it looks like some sort of like corporate award it looks yeah i mean there's nothing written on or anything from what i can tell but it just looks cool i'm so glad to win bisexual of the month like as a, someone who's been by my whole life and came out when i was 19 i'm so glad to finally Achieve bisexual of the month. Woo! Thank you so much. I would like to thank all the girls I made out with and all the guys I've made out with. I would like to thank my dear husband, uh, all my exes all, of all genders, and um, everyone I've uh, ever made out with at a club, including women and men and 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 non-binary and. Oh, pretty much, I, I made out with a lot of people. But <laughs> I'm so glad to win Bisexual of the Month. Thank you, you will, so much, Internet. You will treasure this all month. <laughs> oh, and I can't wait to show this off again on Bi Week and at Pride. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, look, I mean, look yeah, at that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. This is, I'm calling this my Bi Award. Ooh, look, look at it from the bottom. Not, oh, man. Oh, oh. It's like a streamer's background. Oh, I'm so glad to win the bisexual award. <laughs> can, right. we, can we please name name this? The Vigo, bisexual award. Vigo won the bisexual award. You know, yes, I will go for that. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's more stuff inside the bag. Whoa, a Doctor Who VHS. Oh, wow. The Armageddon Factor, the end of the key to time uh, uh, story arc. One of the few times that Doctor Who, classic Who, did a story arc for the entire season. And yeah, I actually had this tape. Because uh, here's the thing, like here's my nostalgia story for, for, for a while. We had a bunch of old Doctor Who stuff on VHS tape, but this was like stuff that had been like recorded off of P PBS and stuff like that. So uh, uh, we had four parts of the Key to Time saga. We did not have the last two parts, Power of Crawl and Armageddon Factor. And, it, and, and in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't that big a deal because Power of Crawl is not that great a story. It just got some good moments. <laughs> But Armageddon Factor, in my opinion, is a great story, and we and like when they started releasing these on VHS tapes, and we had like Suncoast Video, and even Best oh, Buy, man. I think, was selling uh, uh, tapes in the back. Like we would just buy these whenever we had the opportunity, and we were so happy. It was like, oh my god, we can finally see the end of the Key to Time saga. So yeah. yeah, this is cool to have. And of course, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie in a clamshell. I owned this. I'm sure you did too. Did you own this growing up? Uh, I did not, actually. I owned, I owned this growing up, and I had it on repeat some days, because, you know, when you're a kid, you watch stuff, like, over and over again? This was, like, in one of those rotations, and I remember I I wanted to enter the music video contest, and I, and I didn't win, and someone else did, because it was uh. a music video contest. We could be in the Power Rangers movie music video or something. Uh, but, I want, yeah, I, I think I, we rented this back when it came out. We did not see it in theaters. I, I uh, owned it because I didn't get to see it in theaters because going to the theater was a luxury when I was a kid. It was like going there was so rare. Yeah, there's no way I could convince my parents to go see a movie. Is that a Black Panther with a little... <sighs> oh, that's adorable. Look at it. But yeah, we probably ran the tape ragged by, by because Graham and I both kept rewinding the uh, 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 oh, of a frog bit. Wait a minute. I think this is a candy corn collar. For the, our cat, one of which happens to be right here. Come here, Starfire. Starfire, come here. No, don't walk away. I want to. I want to show you the internet. Don't walk away. Come here. Come here, Starfire. Come here. I just. It, I just want to hold you. No. She's not like Cherry. She. She, she knows something's up. She kind of. If it's not a cat collar, then it's a. Then it's a bracelet. I would say. No, because look how it snaps. I mean, you can use it as a bracelet, but this is for a cat. Oh yeah, so we so we we got we finally got like a proper Halloween decoration for the cats. Oh, we got a game, pun intended. Okay, so to sometimes just to mess with Molly, I will come up with the worst puns and jokes, <laughs> and then she's like, ah, and I'm like, Hee -hee -hee. 
<laughs> and so I would always say these like dumb puns to them and uh <laughs> she gave me the pun intended game. I really miss I really miss you. I really miss you. I really we miss, miss Chicago. Miss Chicago, we miss we miss going outside. I haven't gone to Chicago in years. Mm. I really want to go back to Chicago. Oh nice. A bunch of pins. It's Black History Month, and I got a black every month because I'm black every month, obviously. Yo. And Black Lives Matter every day, every year, every month. You don't have to wait for a protest or another black person to die by police hands to say that, to believe that, and to support that. Mm. And those of you who are fans of me and Lewis and actually do, thank you. Mm. Oh, and I got ponies. And you got ponies. 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 Here, open one. You can open Twilight Sparkle because you're a nerd. And open Pinkie Pie because I'm awesome and I like to party. Try to have the Venga Boys playing in my head now. <laughs> oh, sure, Starfire won't get the candy corn on her head, but she will. But she will like attack the uh, 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 the Turbo Toy. <laughs> is this supposed to do something? I think this is supposed to. Oh, okay. It makes, a, it makes a sound. And adjusting the tail makes her tip makes her wings flap. And poor Starfire is so confused by us doing that. She was looking and, at us for a second. And yes, I still collect my little ponies, although less so because they don't sell them in stores much. But I still love the whole franchise. And there has been some really great um, news on Gen Well, you're going to want to zip that up. But, uh, um, no, they're not on the inside. They're kind of on the inside. Here. I know, that's why I'm going to zip it up. Like, feel it. Like, oh, there's, not, a, there's an interior yeah, layer. Okay. They're not on the inside. Okay. I, thought, I thought there, I thought there was the just inside. like full, full of, of it on the inside. Yeah, that is such a cute bag. And there's another one. Holy crap. More ah! stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she was. I thought it was just going to be one package. Oh, oh, heck yeah. It's a Splatoon splatter shot. Yo. Here, you can help me. There's some books in here. Yep. Hey, books for you. Doctor Who. Ah. Doctor, the Doctor Who file. Peter Henning. I don't know what this is. Let me uh, take a quick look along with a art print for you. Oh, no. Pinky! Pinky Pie! Yeah, I think this is like uh, behind the scenes, you know, a book published in... When? When was this published? Uh, look on the... I'm looking for the for copyright it's, date. It's going to be on the uh, first page, usually. Well, uh, 1986. Yep. So, actually, Doctor Who was still on the air at the time when this was made. Like, it had, uh, had another year or two before it finally ended. Then there's The Secret History of Wonder Woman mm. by Jill Lepore. Nice. That can go on the media shelf, yep, definitely. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, we got... Legend of the Montam Aji. I'm not. I'm not familiar with this. Hmm, I never heard of it. Action entertainment. And we got Black Kirby in search of the Mother Box connection. Mm, never heard of it. Black Kirby is a collaborative entity that is John Jennings and Stacy Black Star Robinson. Uh, looks like it's definitely done in the style of Kirby. It's like a character he created, or they're just doing. Yeah, just John Jennings and Stacy Robinson. So it's a collaboration to. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it looks cool. I got some Yaoi light novels. Only the thing ring, ring finger knows. And I think and... this is yours. <laughs> Gothic Lunar Bible! Yeah, for a while, Tokyo Pop back in the day actually published a few of them in the States. They weren't like just like the ones in Japan, but they had a lot of content from there. And there's some uh, content just that was for the American one. And I haven't dressed in Lolita since, I think, last year, because obviously I haven't... Not even last year. 2019, because that was the last time I went to a meetup or anything. But I really, I still love the fashion. I just can't afford it most of the time. Yeah. But yeah, I, I love that. And uh, yeah, it looks like the only ring, the ring Finger Nose like trilogy of light novels. I'm pretty sure those kept coming up when I was searching for Ring on, on Amazon. <laughs> Why were you searching for Ring on Amazon, Lewis? For the manga. You're already married. For the manga. Are you want to double marry me? For the manga. You're double marrying me? Look, 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 look. You're triple marrying me? Uh, we've already got enough problems with people accusing me, voter fraud. If you love me so much, why don't you marry me? I, I, I'm wearing the ring. <laughs> marry me again! Oh my god. <laughs> and also, it got this brush with a rainbow on it. I love kawaii things. Like, uh, I don't really... Honestly, when I'm doing these uh, things with Lewis, I'm just wearing my regular house clothes and 
plus a hat because my hair is messy. But I actually do have lots of pictures of me out there of just dressed in denines and kawaii, and these are such great accessories! Sorry, sorry, again, background noise. Starfire is attacking the turbo like crazy. Also, there's more! So much in that one box! Oh my god, that's it's so a more unicorn boxes. bag! It's cute! Unicorn bag! Is it now? Pun believable! More puns. Hey, well, I want to see what exactly it is. Is it the game or what? Punniest guessing game. The punniest guessing game! Yeah, show it off to the camera. Oh my god. This is the... This is the PO Boxing where Vega gets spoiled with the Bisexual of the Month Award. And many kawaii things. And a vacuum sealed bag! Here you go. With... What is this? I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like a fish. Open it. You, we have those at, um, around the house. I know, it's just like, yeah. Oh my god! Ocean in space! Alright, are you guys familiar with Ocean in space? Like, our friend Z has a ton of shirts, but, and I love, always loved her art. She, look at her art. She, this is what I aspire to be like! Oh my god, Kat! Is that a taco fish? Fish taco? Fish? I think that goes on a cat. Fish taco? Oh my god, it's for, it's a cat costume! Cat taco! Where's Cherry? Hey, Cherry. Bring her up here. Oh my god, you are, you are cruel to our children I while am. we are trying to open stuff for the people. It's, it's for, it's for the people. It's for the likes. Do you wanna? Do you wanna make twenty thousand? You wanna make uh, two hundred thousand subs? You need more cats. Okay, Cherry, come here. Come here. Come here, Cherry. She's going to scratch us. Come here, Cherry. For this cruel thing we are doing to her. Actually, uh, might, yeah, might, I, don't, yeah, I don't think it'll fit. Actually, is really the problem. Huh? I think she might be a bit too big. Yep. Yep. Just. <laughs> Well, we got it on, I guess. And she's just like, whatever. <laughs> I think she's just like... Got too busy sniffing stuff. <laughs> Every time we bring something new in a house, they have to sniff everything. Yep. Maybe we should have put taco on here. Let's do... <laughs> got a wig of some kind. Ooh, a wig. It's sparkly one. It's kind of like this... You know that type, that shade of purple that's really light? It kind of looks gray, but it's not. It's Sloth. like that. Who loves sloths? No. Uh, no, not you, uh, Molly. Let's see. Because we went to the zoo once and she wore this kigurumi that was a sloth and it was very adorable. And we actually, I think we even saw the sloth that day, but I don't recall. But I recall us going to the thing in kigus and I didn't have a kigu at the time. Now I do. And yes. Cheery is lying down with it and is trying to bite it. <laughs> she, yeah, she's just like confused by it, but doesn't really care that much. <laughs> That's the best type of cat that wears costumes. <laughs> it's a sloth and i think that's actually the end of that box okay so finally box one <laughs> yeah box one the other ones were not as heavy so probably less stuff in them but i got a lot of kawaii things all right i'll read this off first hello lewis i'm glad to see that you and vega are doing well during 2020 the wonder year uh anyway that was a funny coincidence <laughs> sorry cherry is is, is kind of squeaking with the with, with the thing on her back uh, that was a funny coincidence when You Know Who caught the plague the same week you reviewed a Mr. T comic. I don't believe the review had anything to do with that, but I do recommend you, uh, update the Mr. T superpower list. Did that in the top 15 list. <laughs> now to the book last year, I sent you a copy of the House Something Volume 1, so now I'm sending you Volume 2. I hope you enjoy reading it. I hope you and Vegas, uh, stay safe and healthy during the rest of all of this. Best wishes, Robert W. Whistle III. Alright, and here's his letter to me. Hello, Vega. I'm glad to see you're doing well during this pleasant year. Yeah. Pleasant year. <laughs> what a pleasant year 2020 was. Nothing horrible happened at all. Yeah, what a boring year. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see your art channel's doing well. I have an art channel, by the way. It's called Vega's Art Room. Please go sub to me. I really want to reach a thousand subs and open the community tab. And if you like art, please support it. <laughs> Put a link under in the description. Oh, house pets. That's what it was. All right. 
It's good to see your our channel doing well. Your Rugrats and Cat Dog videos gave me some nostalgic flashbacks. I did some videos on Rugrats and Cat Dog. I'm guessing that you want an explanation for the pony toys. Toki Toki! Yeah, this stuff is pretty much all you. All right, hold on. Uh, uh, let's see. I wish I could. I wish I could that it's a joke on the last two presents I sent you, but in reality, those were the only pony-related toys I could find that happened to and do being callbacks to the last plagues. This this is just America. Yeah. I guess America is a plague. God bless America, my poison home. Oh, House Pets, that uh, furry comic. All right. Now I know what you're talking about. Yep. Because it was like, House Pets? What was that? Oh. Wonder Pony set. Wonder Pony. Wonder Pony 3. Best pony. My, my favorite pony in Wonder Ponies is Honey Britch's Pony. It's, it's best pony. Ah. It's, it's the best pony. It has antlers like me. Whatever, whatever else, I hope you and Lewis have a safe and healthy new year. Robert W. Wilson the third, Very distinguished name. <laughs> this one, but the names might be a personal one. You can take a look for yourself. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah, I don't know if you want to read that off the air or not. No, I think it's actually a personal thingy. Yep. It's a wedding invitation. Oh, nice. It's a save to date to be exact. Yeah, it's because of COVID, a lot of the weddings that were planned for last year either had to change venues or cancel or push back. Yeah, we had some other friends who have sadly had to really cha radically change their plans. Oh, wow. Let's get ready to go to Florida. Well, that's, it. that's at the end of the year, so maybe better? Maybe? I, I would love to go to Florida again. It's been years. Ooh, what's that? Christmas card? Yep. Uh, sent especially from our house to yours. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Uh, to Lewis and Vega, may your home be blessed uh, with warmth and happiness all season through Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, wishing you both a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Rich Richard and Elena Watt. Oh, yay. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, but I think they've sent us stuff before. Ooh. Good people. We got good people sending us good stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry we're just getting so late to all the Christmas stuff. It's because we didn't really open much of anything. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, just basically waiting for it to build up. Uh, some people did ask, hey, did you uh, get the package? And sometimes we did, and sometimes we just... Mm. We, oh, wait, Lewis, did yeah. you get all of them out the car? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay, just checking. Oh, it's the Neptuna Complete Series. Yeah, we, 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 we wait until we built up enough stuff to justify doing a PO unboxing. Yeah, someone really wants to get me into Neptuna. This is from Amazon. This is from Black Sands Entertainment. Wait, so is this the main character, or is that other cute girl the main character? What happened to the cutie girl? The little one from the our game cover. I guess I'll have to watch and find out. This is like a whole multimedia thing. Glad with, to, with, to know. With Ooh, Black right. Sands and Cosmic Girls. Oh, wait a minute. This seems familiar. Like, I've seen this before. Maybe I've seen this online, or I, do I follow the creator? Possibly. Uh, Manuel Godoy and David Lennermand, which, which sent us, like, two books and a DVD with, for, for Black Sands. This is the type of uh, style I like, but I feel like I've seen this before. There Do I are. already have Cosmic Girls? There's another comic in there, too. I've had... Or maybe I'm just confused. Or maybe I've followed the artist already. Yeah, I am not familiar with it, with this stuff, but like, looks cool. Um, what is it? Black Sands? Uh, it seems to be about uh, an Egyptian mystical thing. Never heard of it, but the more black created things, the better. Mm. And I'm not sure who our child is going to take after most, but I'm gonna make sure they have tons of black media growing up. Damn right. And right. the more of that, the better, honestly. Last two things after this are the remaining Molly stuff, so yes. let's just open these. Where's my cutty? You can use my cutty. No, oh, no, I like using mine, which I got here. I think that's the last thing, unless there's a letter or something that's buried under here. 
so much unicorn stuff. This is actually just the Vega unboxing. Why don't you double check, make sure there's no like letters or anything that's underneath or behind the boxes or stuff. Uh, nope. All right, we got, there's also one of those packages that of course, you know, has interior stuff so there's garbage all over it. We got uh, Brave Men Run, volume one. Hmm, is this a comic? No, it's oh, novels. It's novel. Uh, so the solo novelization, which oh, cool. Noel would actually be really into if he hasn't gotten it already. Hmm, I wonder. Expanded edition by Murr Lafferty. What does be that sound familiar? Hmm. Uh, Nic uh, Becoming Nicole. Hmm. It's about a uh, trans woman who like is is uh, one of the stars on Supergirl. Oh, nice. And Dreadnought, which looks like a superhero book. Also a novel? Yep. yep. No letter in here, so I'm not sure who exactly this is from. It's just Amazon Fulfillment Services, but thank you whoever sent those. Looks like a lot of novels. Cool. All right, so last Molly stuff. All right. I'm going to need to get mine over here. Yeah. 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 Watch, it's going to be that, that. That stuff is mostly for me, and this one's mostly for you. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. This one has a fragile thing on it, so mm. holy crap, I hope you treat, treated it well. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. This appears to be a pillow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, cool. That's a cool looking pillow. Mm. I like it. Is it actually a pillow? I think it is. Feels like a pillow. Definitely would like some more like uh, cool decor like this. Mm. I, I like it. it. Kind of matches the walls and everything. Mm. Yeah, you guys can't see it. This wall behind us is actually yellow, and the and I'll be adjusting the colors accordingly. Oh, this looks like it's art. Here, take this. Oh. Yeah. It looks like art. Also, the thing is running out of power. So try to explain why you can while I quickly go run and get the thing. All right. All right. Looks like. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool art. Oh my God. This is so cool. This is. You just know my style so well. I love. Like, basically our home, uh, at least our last home, we're still working on this one. All the walls have tons of interesting artwork that I collected over the years. And some, you know, pop culture ephemera, as well as autographs that we got. But yeah, check this out, Lou. Oh yeah, it's cool. Mm. This is going in my office. <laughs> no, this is going in the bedroom. No. I don't know where to put this. It is going somewhere and it looks really nice and I like it. It actually really works in the living room. Mm. So we got a yellow wall here, blue wall on the opposite side, orange wall over there. Hmm. Maybe the orange wall? No, yellow wall. You know what? Let's just, just drive. Yeah. They're perfect. <laughs> yeah, the lighting is kind of adjusted over time because it's starting to get dark outside and we don't exactly have the, have the most proper lighting in here. Yep. But uh, yeah, that seems to be everything. So thank you everyone who contributed to this. Holy crap, thank you. I feel so spoiled. Hmm. I'm going to uh, give her a message to make so she knows that we already opened it. Yeah. So, one last time. I'm so glad to accept the Bisexual of the Month Award for February. Uh, black bisexuals matter, obviously. And, um, um, I, I'm, I'm, I would like to thank Jen and the other Jen and uh, Lewis, of course. I'm going to start stabbing my ears. Oh, good. And um, thank you for this. I've I went down on a lot of people for this. <laughs> so thank you so much. So we're going to end on that note. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.